You hear that guitar sound on Hillsong, Bethel, Elevation and every popular CCM song out there. It's not a subtle sound at all and there's a level of complexity to the tone that needs both time and a lot of money to get right. But what if I told you that you could get this sound on your Helix today with no experience and for free? <laughs> Meet Anthony Groves, a media and music director at Abide Church, Tampa, Florida. His Instagram page is so inspiring to watch as he builds big pedal boards and creates these massive tones out of them to fit the sounds of his church, which plays modern CCM. He's taken this know-how and implemented them into a Helix preset and Boy, is this a complex one. Multiple parameter change options for overdrive, delay subdivisions, reverb settings, volume match, stereo amps, which I personally find very hard to do, innovative expression pedal control. This preset is doing a lot. Let's take a deep dive into this preset and go into some pros and cons to find out if this works for you. Pro number one, it's the worship sound. This is the reason for you downloading a preset. It's the modern CCM guitar sound. The secret is stereo delays and reverbs front-ending a pair of amplifiers to the point of wet section saturation. The delays and reverbs need to crunch up in a musically pleasant way. Only then will you get this massive ethereal cloud enveloping the guitar that makes a mix feel gigantic. There's a delicate balance that needs to be achieved. Have too much gain at the front and the delays and reverbs distort unpleasantly because they've run out of headroom and are clipping within their blocks. Have too much gain in the amps and your clean tone sounds too gritty. I love how balanced Anthony's preset is. The cleans are bright and beautiful with that crunchy ethereal cloud coming out when the overdrives are on, but doesn't become overbearing even with all drives stacked. One way to determine if the wet section saturation has led to a loss of definition and tone is the phone audio test. Record yourself playing the preset and play it back through the phone. If you can't make out what the guitar is doing, you know it's too much saturation. Pro number two, it has an innovative control scheme. Consider this problem. Helix users will be familiar with using a foot switch to select between two states of a parameter as the control toggles between a minimum and a maximum value. That's fine if you wanted to use the same delay block to toggle between dotted eighth and quarter note delay. But what if you wanted an eighth note subdivision? If you came from a worship tutorials user background, you'll be familiar with snapshot mode being your primary user interface, while foot switch mode sets up the snapshots for you to play during the Sunday service. Enter Anthony's Solution. With this preset, it seems that the control method is reversed. The snapshot sets up the preset to a preferred state and then you move over the foot switch mode for your primary user interface. Select a delay subdivision snapshot between 8th, dotted 8th and quarter note and then switch over to FS mode to control overdrive and effects. This is an analog pedal board user experience requiring more foot switch presses but it's more tactile and has a more natural cascade of effect changes. If you need to turn on and off 5 different effects between song sections, you're probably overcomplicating your range. With this preset, you get to work with a more gradual change of effects.
number three, it has spectacular volume matching. If you tried tweaking dual amps, you'll run into two challenges. Firstly, the clean being so clean that when you engage on overdrive, the preset becomes way too loud. And secondly, one amp in the dual amp setup reacting too much to the overdrive, which leads to one side of the stereo field being louder than the other. Anthony has spectacularly managed to overcome those challenges with the most well-balanced dual amp preset I've ever come across. There is a potential issue, which I think is a pro slash con. I like that the clean and overdrive tones don't spike very much. <laughs> There are little actual volume differences between the clean drive and lead states by overdrive stacking. Instead, because of wet section saturation, the stacked drive tone doesn't just become louder, the ambient cloud feels bigger, which leads to a perceived increase in loudness. Which leads us to the list of cons. Con number one, it can potentially get lost in a live mix. Over a recorded mix, where a mix is mastered with so much compression that quiet sections and loud sections have the same perceived volume, this preset works wonderfully well for practice. But I'm a little concerned for the live mix on a Sunday morning. Getting lost in a live mix is an unavoidable consequence of an ambient heavy tone. I usually aim for plus 3 dB increments between my clean to lead states of overdrive, but this preset doesn't have those volume jumps. I suspect the guitar will have to be mixed slightly higher in the front of house to hear the perceived loudness differences due to the enlarging ambient cloud. But given that the number one complaint from worship guitarists is that they can't hear themselves in the mix, you have to test this preset in a live worship environment. Comment below with your experiences after you tried it. Number two, it amplifies your mistakes. So this is a con that isn't so much a reflection of how the preset is built, as it is a warning to anyone who wants to play with an ambient heavy tone. Your mistakes become 10 times more obvious. By virtue of design, delays and reverbs take your notes and perform their magic. If that note is a wrong note, oh boy, there's no stopping that cloud of error. This is why you need to practice, practice, practice. In some, Anthony's AG Pro Match V2 captures the essence of the modern CCM guitar tone with a very well-built stereo delay reverb front-ended dual amps preset. Download and try this preset from his Buy Me A Coffee page where you can directly support him and his ministry and do check out his socials like his YouTube channel and Instagram page where I'm sure his pedal board bills will inspire you. If you got value out of this video, please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Check out my other preset review videos like this one where I talk about tone match presets and bespoke IRs from our favorite content creators, worship tutorials, and tone junkie. I'll see you there.